Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So today in this video, I wanted to talk to you about a factor that may be causing you to not be able to go in the direction of gaining muscle mass whatsoever, or you're just finding that you're gaining very little muscle mass, even though you may be eating a diet that is suitable for you to get muscle growth benefits, and you're training consistently, you're training correctly, eating enough protein, and doing various other things. Because, yeah, I have a lot of people tell me that they're doing all of those things and they're still having issues with gaining muscle mass. And the reason can be due to not having optimal testosterone production within the body. And if you do not have optimal testosterone production, good luck trying to maximize your muscle growth. And I'm someone that on my whole journey, and I still do it now every single day, I do so many different things to optimize my testosterone production and get rid of excess estrogen within the body in natural ways, not in chemical ways from pharmaceutical drugs such as steroids or testosterone or certain estrogen blockers which are really, really bad for your health short term and long term. I do not recommend them whatsoever. They are not needed and they cost a lot of money as well. So there is a lot of cons to these and that's not the direction that I ever want to go and it's not what I would recommend to you or anyone else. And what you'll find is someone that has optimal testosterone production, even without training, they will have more muscle mass than someone else that is not training that has low testosterone levels. And then when you do train and you have optimal testosterone levels, you're going to be able to maximize your muscle growth in the quickest time period possible. And there is two different types of body types that I see with people that have low testosterone levels. You can have the super, super skinny, weak, frail looking male, for example, and they have no muscle mass whatsoever. And then you can have the obese male that is very obese, or yeah, you don't necessarily have to be like huge, but you have excess body fat in an abundance and they have muscle atrophy where they don't really have any muscle mass or whatsoever. And the reason why they could be two different body types, one of the main reasons is due to genetics. There obviously could be other factors as well, but that is one of the main ones. And how many people do you see time and time again that are overweight or super skinny and neither of them have any muscle mass whatsoever? Because yeah, I see them all the time and I'm sure you do too. There's an abundance of people like this out there. And everything that I'm sharing with you in this video is based on my own personal experience because I have done so many different things to optimize my testosterone production during my whole journey with building muscle with calisthenics. And I've also done so much research on this subject, insane amounts of research, and I've used it with other people and seen really good results with the things that I've recommended for myself and other people to help optimize testosterone production, to optimize muscle growth. And also, if you're someone that has excess body fat, when you have optimal testosterone production, it also reduces your body fat percentage whilst increasing your muscle mass at the same time. And if you see here, I used to be very skinny, weak and frail, and this is what I managed to achieve within a year with eating correctly, training correctly, resting enough, sleeping enough, doing the right supplementation, and more specifically, optimizing my testosterone production. And if I hadn't, I wouldn't have got as great uh, benefits as I did within that one year period with maximizing my muscle growth and strength hadn't I had optimal testosterone production. So you now may be wondering, well, how do I go about optimizing testosterone production without having to take synthetic exogenous steroids or hormones or testosterone? And there is many different things that you can do and there's so much science to back up the things that I'm about to share with you in this video. And the first one is, which is my absolutely favorite because it's free, you don't have to buy anything, you can do it anywhere in the world and no one can take it away from you. And that is daily intermittent fasting. And there is an abundance of scientific research out there now that shows if you do daily intermittent fasting, you will massively increase testosterone production within the body. Some studies have shown that we increase your testosterone levels anywhere from 200 percent in males anywhere up to 400 percent so as you can see that is a massive massive increase in testosterone production and i'm someone that's been doing intermittent fasting since the start 
of transforming my body over a year ago now. And I intentionally combined it with my journey with transforming my body because of the reason that I've just mentioned to you. And it also gives other amazing hormonal benefits as well. So if you're someone that wants to learn how you can do daily intermittent fasting in the most safe and effective way for you to get the full benefits from it. I did make a video recently, which is called how to do intermittent fasting for serious weight loss, which I've put a video up above. And you may be thinking, well, why am I gonna look at that video if it's for serious weight loss and doing intermittent fasting? And what I have to say is, I made many different videos talking about the benefits of intermittent fasting and you can use it to get different results with different people. So if you follow what is in that video, yes, it will help reduce your body fat percentage if you need to. So say if you're someone that's got hardly any muscle mass and you've got a lot of body fat percentage, it's gonna increase your muscle mass whilst burning fat at the same time. And if you're someone that is skinny, just as I used to be, it's not gonna reduce your body fat percentage anymore from what I've seen myself and other people that are super skinny, but it will in fact increase your muscle mass due to the testosterone benefits that I mentioned earlier on. So do not be concerned about doing it with whatever body type that you have out the two that I've just mentioned. The second one is zinc. Zinc supplementation has been shown in some scientific studies to be absolute key for your body to produce an abundance of testosterone, which at the same time it's reducing a hormone known as prolactin, which is key for optimizing testosterone production, and it helps get rid of excess estrogen within the body, which when you have an excess of estrogen within the body, what does that do? It drops your testosterone production within the body. And you need to be making sure that you're taking quite a big dose of this zinc supplement. And what I'm gonna do is put some links down below for UK, US and worldwide suppliers for the most highest quality zinc supplement on the market that I use with clients that I help and coach around the world and it's the one that I use on a regular basis. And I'd recommend with this zinc supplement, take it at least once within a day with a big meal, never take it on an empty stomach because it can induce nausea and other symptoms within people. But I found it's been eliminated completely for all people when consuming it with food. And if you're someone that feels that you are quite low in zinc, you can take this twice in a day. So you take this once in the morning and once in the afternoon. And this is one of my favorite supplements that I've ever done to optimize testosterone production, lower prolactin, also boosts a neurotransmitter known as dopamine, which gives you so much energy, makes you feel alive and strong and confident, boosts your self-esteem, just makes you feel absolutely amazing and giving you a whole host of other benefits as well. So I highly recommend that you get that supplement, try it out and see how you like it. The third one is taurine, which has been some scientific research out there that shows if you take around five grams a day, which is quite a high amount, but it is safe to take that amount, three times a day, not one, not two, but three times a day. And this supplement, I would re and with this supplement, I recommend getting it in powder form and make sure that you're getting a high quality taurine supplement in powder form that's just 100% pure taurine within it. And if you don't know where to get the most highest quality taurine possible delivered to your door, there will be links for UK, US and worldwide suppliers down below. And with the taurine, you can consume it in smoothies, in juice, in water, you can even just add it to your mouth and drink it down like a lot of people do with creatine. You can have it with food, without food. So you have many different choices as to how you can take the taurine. But me personally, I normally add it with smoothies or I would have it with water. And the brilliant thing with taurine is also shown to get rid of excess estrogen within the body, which is one of the reasons as to why it has been shown to increase testosterone production within the body. And the fourth one, which I take every single day, and I do take all of the other two that I just mentioned every single day, the taurine and zinc, and that is indenol 3 carbonyl also known as I3C. And this is naturally found occurring within cruciferous vegetables, but it's been shown through scientific research that you cannot eat enough of these foods in an abundance to get enough of the I3C to get the amazing estrogen blocking effects that it gives you within the body when taking it in supplementation 
form. And that is the reason as to why it increases testosterone within the body. And with this one, I would highly recommend taking this twice within a day. And you can even take this in the morning, in the middle of the day, later in the day. And I would personally recommend consuming this with food to maximize the absorption of this supplement. And I normally take it once in the afternoon and once in the evening with food and same with this supplement if you don't know where to get a pure source of this from and you don't want this in powder form you want it in encapsulated form then i will put links down below for uk us and worldwide suppliers because yes encapsulated supplements a lot of the time contain toxic substances that can have a negative effect on your testosterone production so you want to make sure that you're buying your supplements for a very reputable trustworthy pure source number five that i want to talk about is if you're someone that's having stress very very consistently what a lot of people call chronic stress that has a negative effect on your testosterone production so that's something you want to be very mindful of and do certain things such as breathing practices or exercise which obviously you're going to be doing exercise already or yoga or various other different relaxation techniques to help your body get out of a stress response and make it more resilient to stress because if you don't get this under control and you just have so much stress going on a regular basis, good luck optimizing your testosterone production. And so many people have so much stress going on within their body and within their life and they really need to address that and resolve it. And also, if you can make certain changes in your life so life is just a lot less stressful, then obviously do that as much as you can. And if you're someone that wants to help your body be a lot more resilient, with stress and lower cortisol levels, I'd highly recommend CBD oil, which is something that I use on a regular basis with myself and other people. And I talk about that in a full review video that I'll put a link for up above because I'm not gonna talk about it in this video. So if you wanna go and check that out, I highly recommend you go and check it out. But it's one of the best things that I've ever discovered to just make life way more calming and relaxed and not as stressful for me. So it's something that I highly recommend from my own personal experience. And number six, make sure that you're getting adequate amounts of sleep and not going to bed very late because this has been shown so many times through so many different scientific studies to mess up testosterone production and all hormone production throughout the whole body. And it's also gonna shorten your maximum lifespan and short-term and long-term cause sickness and disease. This is something to be mindful of and try and improve with going to bed earlier. Make sure you get an adequate amount of sleep if you're not already doing that. I might share from my own personal experience, which I'm not necessarily saying you need to go to bed this early, but I normally go to bed around 8 p.m. every single night and then wake up around 4 to 8 a.m. every single morning. So I'm very, very disciplined with this because it gives me the best health, holistically, cognitive function, mood, hormone production, and it's just gonna help me have the most best life that I possibly can, because it just makes me feel the best every single day, and it's gonna maximize my lifespan as well. So as you can see, there's many different good reasons as to why I do this. And last but not least, which so many people do this on a regular basis, yes, I do recommend that you train really, really hard to tear the muscle fibers as much as possible. So then when you're resting and recovering, they will grow as much as they possibly can. But if you're someone that is training for too long of a period within one session, and then if you're someone that is training too often and not letting your body rest and recover as much as it needs to, and you're just pushing your body past the point of it actually being beneficial to you, that is going to mess up testosterone production and all hormone production within the body. So it's all about being mindful around this. Push yourself to your limits, but when you're normally training in the gym, I wouldn't recommend training for more than an hour. If you're training for more than an hour, you're not training hard enough. So modify your workouts and make it as hard as possible. I normally only train for around 45 minutes because I train really, really intensely and I don't need to push it any more than that. And when it gets to about the 40 minute mark or so, when I do the last few different exercises, I can barely do them whatsoever. Not because I'm fatigued, but just because my muscles are absolutely destroyed from the workout that I've been doing. And then, yeah, if you're training too consistently, where you're training every single day, which a lot of people try to do that, and I used to do that in the past, and I learned from my own experience that that was not a good idea, you're just 
burning your body out, your whole central nervous system, and you're just going to ruin your health and hormone production. So make sure that you are taking enough time so you can rest and recover fully, so then you can get the best muscle growth benefits. And then when you come back to training, you're gonna be way, way stronger and have more stamina and endurance and optimize your sports performance overall. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions on anything that I shared you today in this video or any other type of videos that you'd like me to make on this subject, please let me know down below in the comments section down below. I love answering your questions and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And if you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down. I don't mind. And please make sure to share this with anyone that you think will have to hear about as to why they may not be able to grow muscle as much as they'd like to or they're growing no muscle whatsoever due to having low testosterone production and they can learn the reasons as to why the testosterone production could be low and how they can go about resolving it and if you haven't already click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me talking about optimizing hormone production and helping you learn the right information to go in the direction of achieving the body desire the fitness levels and the energy levels videos on intermittent fasting what i eat and do in a day videos, workout videos with calisthenics and many other different types of videos to help you get the results that you desire short term so then you can also sustain them long term and get the greatest benefits in the shortest period of time. So if this type of video sound good to you, make sure that you click the subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.